Hello everyone, so in this video I will be discussing the derivations of the double angle formulas for sin 2a, cos 2a and tan 2a. As we can see we have one single formula for sin but three different formulas for cos and one formula for tan. So let me start with the very first one which is sin 2a. This is the double angle formula for sin. So sin 2a is 2 sin a cos a. So to derive this formula, we need to use the compound angle formula. I have already discussed the six compound angle formulas in my last video, so I will add the link in the description. We need to use the first one, sin a plus b equals sin a cos b cos a sin b. Since we need 2a, so if we replace b with a, in that case a plus a will be 2a. So let b equals a, I will be replacing all the b in this equation by a. So this will give us a plus a, then sin a cos a, cos a sin a. So we already have sin 2a at the left side and sin a cos a cos a sin a we can add them up because it actually indicates the same thing for example we have 2 into 3 6 if you just change the sequence 3 into 2 is also 6 so in that case we have sin a cos a cos a sin a so it's just the change in the position overall it indicates the same thing so we can add them up so sin 2a and then if we add them up, 1 plus 1, we get 2 sin a cos a. So we are done with the derivation of sin 2a. These are the three formulas for cos 2a. The first one is based on sin and cos. The second one depends only on cos. And the third one is in terms of sin only. So to start with cos 2a, we need help from the compound angle formulas. So we can use this one cos a plus a will give us cos 2a. Now I will be replacing the b in this equation by a just like I did in sin 2a derivation. So replacing b will give us this line where we have cos 2a at the left side and since it's a so we have cos a and cos a that will give us cos square a sin a sin a will give us sin square a. So this is actually the first formula cos square a minus sin square a. To derive the next formula we can see that we do not have any sign right. So we will use this formula and we will replace this sign so that we have only cos in this equation. So let's see how we can do that. So sin square a plus cos square a equals 1. So from this equation, we can find a value for sin square a. So subjecting this will give us 1 minus cos square a. So in this first equation, I will replace this sin square a by this formula. From equation 1, as in I'm using this equation. So cos square a minus sin square a. So sin square a will be replaced by 1 minus cos square a. Next if we multiply this minus 1 and then minus minus will give us a plus. So plus cos square a. In total we have 2 cos square. Cos square a plus cos square a 2 cos square a minus 1. That's the second formula. This one. 2 cos square a minus 1. The last one is 1 minus 2 sin square a. It's in terms of sine only, so I will be using the same formula, this one. And in this equation, I need to remove this cos square a because it has to be something related to sine only. So from this equation, we can find the value for cos square a. That's 1 minus sin square a. So here instead of cos square a, I would write 1 minus sin square a. From equation 1, as in I am using this equation, 
cos square a is zero plus by one minus sine square a. So simplifying this, removing the bracket will give us this line. We have sine square minus sine square, so that's actually two sine square a. So the final formula is cos two a equals one minus two sine square a, which is the third one. So even though these three formulas are the most common format of cos two a. Uh, sometimes we need to, to find a value of cos square a or sin square a in terms of cos 2a. So from the second equation cos 2a equals 2 cos square a minus 1. If we need to subject this part only and shift this one here so it's plus 1 we get this formula 1 plus cos 2a. Similarly for the third one if we need to subject this one so if we shift this at the left side, it's become, it becomes 2 sine square a and we shift this cos 2a at the right side, we get 1 minus cos 2a. As in, you need to subject 2 sine square a, that's it. Then you will get 1 minus cos 2a. So if you need the value for cos square a only, in that case you can just shift this 2 at the right side, so it's half of that. Similarly, if you need the value for sine square a, it's half of that. The easiest way to remember this is that cos cos so we have a positive sin and cos different so we have a negative these two formulas are very helpful when you are solving integration in that case you need to replace this one in terms of cos 2 and continue basic integration next is tan 2a and for that we need to use this formula tan a plus b so to get 2a we need to replace this b by a so a plus a will give us 2a at the left side Similarly, we need to replace all the b in this equation by a. So at the numerator, if we add them up, tan a plus tan a will give us 2 tan a. And at the denominator, we have tan a into tan a, which will give us tan square a. So yeah, that's the formula for tan 2a. And with this, I'm done with the derivation of the double angle formulas for sin 2a, cos 2a, and tan 2a. The next video is on the triple angle formula, so do take to learn about the triple angle to learn the derivation of the triple angle formula, do check out the next video. So I hope this helped. So I hope this so I hope this was helpful and to learn the derivation of the triple angle formula, do check out the next videos.